this brain teaser in this video is uh, once again not one that I made up. I I actually don't remember the first time that I heard it. I think it was in the back of a, a magazine. I want to say Scientific American, and and me and a bunch of buddies we were traveling through Europe, and it kind of became our pastime to do these brain teasers in the back of magazines. And just so you know, I think a lot of y'all think that you know these type of brain teasers you can just read them and solve them, and if you can't solve them, then you're not good at this type of thing. This brain teaser I'm about to give you, I just kind of sat and thought about it, and our, me and my buddies we argued about it for literally about a day and then I just slept on it and then the first thing in the morning I like woke up all my friends I was like I figured it out so this isn't some kind of easy thing and and I encourage you you know just uh, listen to the statement understand it and then you know pause the video and then think about it for 24 hours and then come back to it and one you, you'll probably solve it yourself and if you don't uh, 24 or 48 hours then you'll probably find the solution that much more satisfying so this is the problem of the togglers Toddlers, not toddlers, toddlers. I have a well, I have an infant, so words like toddler are in my brain. But this is the problem of the toddlers. So there are five guys in front of you, and I, so that's one of them, two, three, or five. They don't have to be guys; they could be of any gender. And four of them are what we called. Togglers. And what a toddler is, so four of them, four togglers. Four togglers. And what a toddler does is they the first time you ask them a question, they're either going to tell the, the truth or they're going to lie. So truth or a lie. But then the second time that you ask them, they're going to toggle, they're going to switch. So the second time you ask them a question, if they told the truth the first time, then the next time you ask that same person a question, they're going to switch to lying. But if they lied the first time you ask them a question, then they're going to switch to telling the truth. And then it goes on and so on and so forth. So if you ask this same person the third question, if they told the truth the first time, then they'll lie the second time you ask them a question. And then the third time, they'll tell them the truth again. It's like if I was a toddler and you said, hey, you, what is your name? And if I said, oh, my name is Bill, then clearly I'm lying that first time. And then you say, you point it to me again, and you say, what is your name? And I'm saying, oh, my name is Sal. And then if you were asking me again, what is your name? I would say, oh, my name is Susan. And if you ask me again, my name is Sal. So this is, so the first time I just decided to lie. But I, just as easy, just as easily, I could have decided to tell the truth the first time. You might have, you know, said, hey, you, what's your name? I would have said Sal. And then you ask me, what's your name again? And I would have said, Elizabeth. And then you ask me, what's my name again? I would say, oh, my name is Sal. And then again, what's your name? And I would say, you know, George Washington or, or something arbitrary. But I think you get the idea. A toddler, the first, you know, I don't know who's a toddler. Say that this is a toddler. The first time you ask them a question, they might lie. They might tell the truth. But if they lie, the next time you ask the same person a question, they're going to tell the truth. But if the first time you ask them a question and they did tell the truth, the next time you ask the same person a question, he or she is going to lie. So that's a toggler. So you can already imagine this is, I mean, I don't know, the, the first time that I read the problem, it kind of made my brain hurt, this notion of a toggler. It's much easier when there's a reality where people only lie or only tell the truth. It's much harder when they toggle. And not only they toggle, but their initial state, whether they start telling the truth or they start off lying, you don't know. That's arbitrary. There's no way of predicting whether this person... First of all, we don't know if this person is a toddler, because I said there's only four toddlers. But even if they are a toddler, I don't even know if the first time I ask them a question, whether they're going to tell the truth or whether they're going to lie. So four of them are toddlers. What's the fifth? Well, you probably could guess, because this is how these brain teasers go. The fifth is a truth teller. And he's much simpler, or he or she, I don't want to give any clues on who it might be, is a truth teller. And a truth teller always tells the truth always tells the truth. So this brain teaser is, or the goal of this brain teaser, is to figure out who is the truth teller. So you want to know which of these five people is the, so let's say, goal. Who's truth teller? And as you can imagine, you don't have infinite questions to do this with. You have exactly two questions to do this with. And you have two questions. 
And those two questions, they can be you know, one question to this guy, and then another question to this guy. Both questions could be to this guy. Both questions could be to her right over there. So the questions don't have to be to the same person, although they can be to the same person. Or they could be kind of to two different people. So you have two questions, any question to ask of any, com- you know, any combination of either two questions to one person or two questions to two people to figure. And by the end of those two questions, you should know for sure who is the truth teller. And that is the, the brain teaser statement. So pause it now if you don't want any hints or the solution or anything else. So you know, I encourage you to pause it and think about it for at least, for at least a day. And you know, sleep on it. Because a lot of you know, all the, the real math problems or logic problems that are worth solving aren't the ones that you can solve uh, right when you see them. They're the ones that you kind of sit and let your brain do a little uh, background processing while you sleep. So with that said, Hopefully you've stopped it, and now you've resumed it after, after really struggling with this for a long period and not eating and sleeping and, and all the things that normal people do. And now you're ready for the solution. Or even better, you're ready to confirm your solution. So first, I'll give you a hint. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough question. I, I struggled with this at first. I was just like, you know, how do you know when you ask someone a question, how do you know if they're lying or not? Um, how do you know if they're the truth teller? Or how do you know if they're a toggler? You don't have any information. So the crux of this problem is to, it's essentially, it doesn't matter who you're asking the question to the first time around. And actually, the solution is it doesn't matter who you're asking to the question the second time around. You want to ask a question so that no matter what they say, you know what they're going to do the second time around. You know whether they're going to tell the truth the second time around, or you know whether they're going to lie the second time around. And that's a hint. And if you just want a hint and they keep thinking about it, pause it again, because I'm about to give you a solution. So question one. So question one. And you can pick any of the five people to ask this question to. And that's kind of the nature of one of these solutions. There's no reason for you to pick one of the five over the other. They're all equally likely to be the truth teller. So you ask them, are you the truth teller? Are you the truth teller? Truth teller. So let's think about a couple of, of, of well, first of all, they're either going to answer to this yes or no, right? So they're either going to say, there's going to be two situations. They're either going to say yes, or they're going to say no. So if someone says yes to are they the truth teller, it means that they are either the, they, they, they are the truth teller telling the truth, truth teller telling truth, telling truth, or they are a lying toddler, a lying toddler. If they say that they are not the truth teller, they clearly cannot be the truth teller because the truth teller cannot lie about not being the truth teller. And so they have to be a toggler. And they'd be an honest toggler. It'd be an, a toggler who's telling the truth, right? So it would be a truthful toggler. Truthful, truthful toggler, right? Remember, I ask anybody, any of these five people right here, I said, Are you the truth teller? If they say yes, I immediately know that they're either the truth teller telling the truth, or they're a lying toggler. If they say no, I know that they are a truthful toggler. Now what's interesting is, in this scenario, if they say yes, what do I know that they're going to do next? So if this is a if if this is a truth telling if this is a the truth teller and they told the truth, that this on the second question they're going to tell the truth again. They're going to tell the truth on. On qu- question number two, if they're the lying toggler, what are they going to do when you ask them another question? Well, they toggle. If they lie the first time you ask them, they're going to tell the truth the second time you ask them. So they're going to tell the truth on question number two, right? So if the person says yes to, are you the truth teller? You immediately know, no matter who they are, that they're going to tell the truth on question number two. So if you can know for a fact that the person is going to tell the truth on question number two, you, t- you ask them, who is the truth teller? Who, so this is number two. Who is the truth teller? So it's kind of weird. You go to someone and you say, are you the truth teller? And, and, and they'll say yes. And then you ask them again, who is the truth teller? And then 
because they have to tell the truth, they will actually, they'll either say, if, the, if it was this case, they say, I am the truth teller. Or if it's this case, they'll say, no, that dude over there is the truth teller. And then you'll know who the truth teller is. Now what happens in this situation, that they're a truthful toggler? Well then on the second question, what are they going to do? They're going to lie. They're going to lie on the second question, right? On Q, on question number two. So if you know for a fact that someone is going to lie, how can you phrase a question so you can figure out who the truth teller is? Well, if they say no to this first question, and you know they're going to lie on the second one, your second question should just be, who is not the truth teller? Not the truth teller. So the only way to lie on this question, right, the only way to lie on this question, this person has to lie now, is to tell you who the truth teller is. And so using these two questions, we essentially, using the first question, are you the truth teller, we can immediately predict what the person is going to do on the second question. And then we can phrase the second question, depending on that response, to definitely know who the truth teller is. Anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that. And I, hopefully you see why the, the, the liar game show uh, um, brain teaser was a bit of a warm up for this one. See you in the next video.